Hey buddies, today I'll be showing you how to put your Windows 10 into safe mode and uh, I'll be giving you some quick and easy way to do it. You guys what you'll do is one, uh, I'll show you the first method. Uh, this one is whereby you have to press the Windows, uh, the Windows key then with R. Uh, so after pressing it, then you'll uh, type in uh, MSCONFIG. So I'll show you how you do it, guys. Uh, you press the Windows key and R, then you get uh, you'll get this one to run. So after getting to run, this is what you type. You type this command uh, MS. C O N F I G. So after after that, then you press OK. So when you press OK, this is what you get on your screen. So there are, there are four options here, almost five of them. Then uh, what you'll do here is uh, you'll uh, you'll click on Boot. So after clicking on this tab of boot, then you go and uh, check the safe mode boot, as you can see here. When you click here, you click there. So when you click in that, then you go ahead to press OK, then apply. So the next time your Windows boot, then boot directly safe mode. So when you do that one, as long as you want to restart your uh, to reset your PC or do anything, check the disks and whatever. As long as you mark this, then your PC can uh, reboot into safe mode the next time you're restarting it to do so. So another method is uh, is by pressing the power button. Uh, you'll come here on the start menu. When you press here on the power button by clicking here on the power button, uh, uh, but this one you press it with a combination of uh, shift and F8. You have to hold those three buttons at once. As you hold the other two, then you click on the power button. Then when it is restarting the PC, it will just go direct to the recovery mode. And uh, the third of uh, the third option is uh, holding the shift button and uh, mashing the F8 key. So when you, you'll just tap on the shift key on your keyboard, then uh, you hold it, then you keep pressing F8 key when windows are starting up. This sometimes boot you into the new advanced repair option. So you can also check out like clicking on the troubleshoot option and uh, now you can also select advanced options and you can choose the windows startup settings option and also then you can press the f4 key on your keyboard to enable the self mode like that then if f8 and shift plus 8 is not working or if windows 10 doesn't boot properly then you can uh, enable the legacy advanced boot option menu that allows you to press F8 upon startup. So another thing you can do is, uh, another thing you can do here is, you can keep turning on and off your PC also. Then the windows will show you, uh, will give you a notice that they've not restarted properly. Then you can also use that you can use that option to boot into recovery and do whatever you want to do with your PC. So I think that's, that's how brief I was. Thank you for watching. Uh, we meet in the next video. Bye.